Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. Now, recently, I've been sharing some stories, some lessons learned, so to speak, from our new book, which will be out May the 30th. It's online now at all your bookstores and places you might want to order a book. But this book, Captured by Love, Inspiring True Romance Stories from Vietnam POWs, has love lessons in it. And guess what? Those love lessons actually are about the same as the lessons, many of the lessons that we need in the workplace or wherever we are. And today I wanted to share one that's very, very important where we spend a lot of time in leadership development and team development understanding, and it's called Celebrate Differences. You know, people are different. Sometimes they catch our eye and we kind of look down on them because they're different from us. But actually, the whole population, one third, is going to be opposite of you and every one of your traits. And one third will have some of it, but not all of it. So, for example, my wife and I are totally opposite on all the eight traits, but especially on patience. She's got a lot and I've got very little. Well, in a marriage, that can be a real problem, but also in the workplace. People who are impatient, fast-paced, they jump on things and they make decisions real quickly and they throw stuff out and they speak up. And people who are very patient, they feel a little threatened by that. Some of the critical things that fast-paced people say are really uh, make the patient person who's very empathetic feel sorry for them and they just want to withdraw. Well, I have had to learn to adapt my behaviors at home and at work. And guess what? There's a huge payoff in that. So now I will tell you that I've been in this area of research and development of assessments for natural behavior for 32 years. Actually, we're going on 33. And I've assessed thousands and thousands of people, mostly leaders and teams in the workplace. And we know that everybody knows that people are different, but learning how to understand and celebrate their unique talents is so important in the workplace and at home, whether it's your spouse or your children or your neighbor, because you want to help them to feel valued and important. And you have to celebrate their unique talents. And they're going to be different from you quite often. And you don't focus on their struggles. You're not going to change them. It's so important to let those struggles slide by and not pay much attention to them. You know, if you've hired people, you know that people who are outside sales are typically different from people who are bookkeepers. 80% of the time, they're going to be different, very different in their personality. Well, we know that a third of the population is going to be outgoing and extroverted, and a third of the population is going to be reserved and introverted, and a third will have some of both. But in the workplace, you've got to understand and celebrate those differences. I have been successful as a leader in the Air Force, especially for many years, and still today, actually, because I have people around me that had different talents than me. They were very scheduled and detailed and organized, and they could plan things, and they made me look good. They made our organization successful. So I celebrated their talents and ignored, I had to coach myself a lot of times, to ignore some of their struggles and their non-talents. Focus on coaching yourself in areas of your struggles and also when you overuse your talents. You know, it's great to be decisive, but you can't try to make every decision. Understanding that and celebrating differences is going to be so important at home and at work. So I want to encourage you to think about that in your relationships at work and home, to celebrate the other person's talents, ignore their differences so to speak, ignore their struggles. Don't focus on those. Don't try to fix them. That won't work. And you become a person who sees that and notices it. And it's going to make you so much more successful in, in your work, but especially in your relationships. And that's what we talk about in this book is those relationships and how relationships in the POW camp were so important to our resistance to our enemy and to us coming home healthy. And that empowered us really to be able to come home and have great relationships at home with our wives and families. 
I think you'll really enjoy those stories. And remember, uh, the pre-release is happening right now. You can go online or anywhere there's a bookstore and order it. And uh, they'll release it on May the 30th. We also have a website, powromance.com, where there's a couple of stories and a lot of information about the book and some links to those websites where you can buy it. So check it out. Take care and God bless. We'll see you next month.